Okay, so let's begin the next problem in theory of computation and the problem is consider the set of strings on 0, 1 in which every substring of three symbols has at most two zeros. So this is important out here. Every substring of three symbols has at most two zeros. So yeah, if you take any string and you take a substring, okay, in that string and there are three symbols, then it has at most two zeros. It cannot have more than two zeros and then it is explaining it with these examples that these and these are in language but this is not because what happens in this case is you have these three zeros. Three consecutive zeros and that is not in the language. So that is the thing, okay? You cannot have three consecutive zeros, everything else is fine. All strings of length less than three are okay because if you take less than three, there is no way you can get three zeros. A partially completed DFA that accepts this language is shown below. So this is the DFA that will accept everything but reject the strings in which there is a substring of length, uh, there is a substring of three consecutive zeros or more. Okay, so that's the idea. So this is a partially completed, partially completed DFA. And then what you have to tell, you have to tell the missing arcs. So basically you have to complete this DFA, okay? You see that some of the arcs are missing because in a DFA for every state, you have sh you should have a transition for every symbol in the alphabet. So like for this, you have no transition, okay? You come here and from here, what happens if there is zero? What happens if there is one? There is no transition, that's why it is incomplete. And so you have to m complete this by building those arcs. And the finally, the choices are not from arcs but from these tables. So you have these four options, right? A, B, C, and D. And you have to choose the correct option, which is basically the representation of the arcs that you are going to choose. Okay. So let's let's see what we can do. First, let's look at this DFA. Okay. So you start here, okay, and you read zero, you go here, zero. If you read one, you go here. If you read another zero, you go here. If you read another one, you go here. Okay. And if, if you look at this, okay, if, if you look at this thing, then the labels that are given to these states, they sort of tell us that how many zeros we have recorded so far, okay, because, because what is important, you have to keep track of the number of zeros, okay, you shouldn't be messing up with the number of zeros so that if you exceed two, as long as you hit three zeros, you should go to some dead state and never come out of that. And this is your dead state out here. This is your dead state. Because in dead state, if you go here, you never come out of here. Because you read 0 and 1, you keep going back to this dead state again. So the first transition that we can make is quite simple. Okay, so this state tells us that so far, I have read two zeros. Okay, if I read one more zero, I am going to go to the dead state. So the first transition that you can make for sure is this transition. You read 0 and you go to a dead state that is Q. So if you look at these options, maybe you can eliminate some of them just by this transition. So on 0, 0, if you read 0, do you go to Q? Okay, so out here on 0, 0, I read 0, but I go to 0, 1 and not to Q. So this is eliminated. Out here on 0, 0 and 0, I don't have Q out here. So this is eliminated as well. Out here on 0, 0, I have Q, so this is retained. Out here on 0, 0 and 0, I have Q, okay? So from 0, 0, you read 0, you go to Q, dead. So these two are retained so far. <coughs> Sorry. So let's see next. What else can we do? Okay. So another thing is, if you... Uh, so this is a key state out here, okay? This is a key state, why? This is a key state because this tells you that, okay, you have read two zeros, don't read third, or if you read, you're going to die out here. And when else can you read two zeros? So, and what does this state tell you? This state tells you that, okay, so far, the, the last two symbols are one zero, okay? So what does this mean? If from here, if you read one more zero, you have to go to this state and be ready to die if you read another zero. So what you can say for sure is that with this state, if I read another zero, another zero, I should go to this state, okay? I should go to this state, which is the 
ready to die state you can say okay because from here since you have read two consecutive zeros the third one will lead to death and out here you have your current symbol is zero and one more zero means you are in a ready to die state <coughs> sorry <coughs> so let's look at out of these two we have eliminated first and second let's look at C and D and see for one zero on reading zero do we go to double zero so on one zero out here on reading zero we remain at one zero okay we have to go to double so this is eliminated and out here you can see for one zero on reading zero you go to zero zero which is consistent with our idea okay and that means that option D has to be the correct choice okay so the what is what is beautiful or what is what you have to be like really clever in this case is that you don't need to make all the arcs because you can simply eliminate some of them and get to your correct choice and if you want you can do the same reasoning and complete your arcs okay and you will still get this okay and that's it so this was your mm, correct choice option D